Hey adventurers, welcome to beautiful Tennessee. This is one of the best places in the world to find salamanders. So you know what that means. Let's get flipping. So areas like this can really be a great place to find salamanders. You can see all the moisture dripping off of the of the rocks here. And so the, the ground here is going to be very wet. You can see uh, that there's a bit of puddles there and there. So a uh, great place to look. So, you know, let's get to it. See what see if there's anything crawling around here. And here is our first salamander of the day. Really, really exciting. You can see uh, that light line coming from behind the eye to the jaw. That is, That means it's one of the dusky salamanders. Um, and now this guy has a fairly light belly uh, without any markings on it. And so this is a really good candidate for a seal salamander. Um, now all the dusky salamanders look very similar. And there are... Uh, maybe about 12 uh, that we could find in this area that we're at. So um, it's hard to know for sure, but I'm definitely pre feeling pretty good uh, that this little guy is um, our seal salamander. So we'll let him crawl on back and enjoy the day. Is this one here? Uh -huh, I think we got, ooh, where'd it go? Has 3, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, Did it disappear? Oh, it's right here, right here. Tiny little salamander right there. Let's see. Let's. Whoa. Look at that. Did you see that? Holy smokes. Yeah. It's like transparent. Itty, itty bitty. Is he alive? Yeah. Oh, He's yeah. moving around. So is he that small because he's young, or is that how the species works? So, there are salamanders that are this small, but looking at how dark the eye color is, I think that this is a brand new salamander. Brand new. Straight from the packaging. Fresh. Looks a little like barely formed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, doesn't even have all his teeth yet. No. Definitely can't rent the car. <laughs> So cool. At this stage, I would not be able to identify it. They really don't show their field marks uh, yet. You know, if we find others in this area, uh, we'll just guess that it's probably another one of those. Um, this is a lungless salamander, so they look mostly the same as the adults. Some of the other salamanders do have aquatic stages where they have gills. Some of those salamanders will stay aquatic for their entire lives, and some of them will move on to land later. So. Well, let's put this little guy back. Ready to go. And we'll cover him up a little bit. But lots of moisture for him. Probably. Oh. This one that... Am I recording? I don't even know. Yes. Uh, it swam away. Um, well, if you found one that fast, you may find more. Yeah. Uh, this is a little too wet to, to like see something and catch it. They get away too easily. Amphibians are good swimmers, eh? Yeah. Ah! Oh no, where'd it go? But yeah, they just like wiggle away really quick and disappear. Got it. Got one. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Ah, no. Okay. Oh my goodness. That took a lot of work. Okay. All right. You gotta name this one. This guy has a little bit of pattern on the back. 
Uh, so it is going to be something a little different. The belly is... Can somebody see? Uh, fairly light, like a light green or light tan. Yeah, so definitely still a dusky salamander because it still has that line behind the eye. Pattern is really faint. I can see it's coming out on the tail a little bit. And the belly is light and colored. A little bit of spotting on the side. Because this one has seems to have a little bit of molting on the belly and a little molting on the sides, I think that this is probably our northern dusky salamander. Like I said before, they're very difficult to tell apart. And so it's hard to be absolutely sure. But it's very cool. Time to put this guy back right where we found him. There you go. Bye bye, little Sally. All right, got another salamander here. This one was yellow. It's probably a two-lined salamander. Um, let's see if I can, where did it go? Yeah. All right. Let's put some of these rocks back. There we go. Let's pull it out. Take a closer look. These are easy to identify. Um, two lines, one on each side. Uh, it makes like that's two line salamander. Uh, and then there are a couple of species that are in this area. If we look at the tail, we see that these lines get broken up and it becomes dotted. And that's a really good field mark for the Blue Ridge two-line salamander uh, versus some of the other ones uh, that might be nearby. You may have seen in my other videos that I use this app. This is the Schechter Natural History uh, Guide to Reptiles and Amphibians, uh, available for iOS and Android. Um, and you can see that um, I can set it to be only show the nearby creatures, and I can see the things that might be found uh, right here in this county. So uh, we see here for these brook salamanders, we have that Blue Ridge two line salamander. Take a closer look, and we see uh, stripes break up about halfway uh, down the tail. So. Uh, which is pretty clear uh, for this guy here. You can see how bright it is underneath too, that bright yellow, it's very pretty. Anyway, let's uh, put him back where we found him. <clears throat> You know, there is so much water here in this area. I mean, every little turnout on this trail, every little region, there's more water flowing down, which is just an amazing habitat for salamanders. And a good reason why this is the capital uh, of the world uh, to find them. So we're gonna keep going on this trail, flip some more stuff, dig in some more leaves, and hopefully we'll have another salamander or two to show you so stay tuned and uh yeah see what we find what kind is this one this is a 
Blue Ridge two line salamander uh, that Amanda just found. Um, yeah, you can see the the line on the tail is broken up. That's one of the easy field marks. All right, time to put this guy back. We found him. There we go. Let's put make sure he's under the leaves like how he first arrived. So my GoPro is acting up, so I think we might have missed the flip, but this lovely salamander was underneath a log uh, right over here uh, at this creek. Uh, there's the log right there. Um, really cool. I'm not sure what it is yet. I see that it is a type of dusky salamander. You can see that light line going back from the eye to the jaw again. Um, now to figure out what it is handful of options out here, so let's take a closer look. Maybe we can see something uh, under the belly. So, took a quick look at the belly, and this is a black-bellied salamander, which is the same, which is the same description as is the name of the species. So really cool to see. A nice chunky one too. Let's get some more footage. All right, well. He wants to go back to the pond. Was he in the water? No, under the log. Under the All right, let's give him a little rinse. All right. And we can set him back to where we found him. Well, missed the flip again, but here is a second black-bellied salamander, part of the dusky salamander family. And if you can see really closely, oh, he's very slippery, um, but had a lovely color to him. Ah, here he is. You can see he's got this like marbled pattern on him, um, but he, you know, we got a closer look at the other one, so I think we can let him go. Here we go, one more, uh, two, uh, two striped, sorry, two line salamander. One more two-line salamander for the day. Really nice. We really got a good look, so just put them right, right back here. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I mean, all the salamanders you saw were really amazing. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field. <laughs>